Hello and good late morning. It's almost 10 o'clock. I'm starting late at this location. It's Phil Thatch and I am at the Stanford Gap Marsh and my friend Forrest told me that there's some pretty good killdeer activity going on over here and Heather and I have photographed killdeer here as well. But uh, Forrest actually told me about making photos over here in this retaining pond and I did get some shots over there but what I was most excited about is when I first drove up and parked the car right there there was a parent and three or four juvenile kill deer just wandering around right outside the window of the car so i got a number of shots of those and i'll show you those first only one of the juvenile kill deer was near me and i made a few photos of it and here it is isn't it just adorable and one of the adults was near me as well here is the adult but I didn't stay and photograph these killdeer very long because I didn't want to disturb them while they were trying to raise their young. But I did make just a couple of photos. Here's one with both the adult and the juvenile that was closest to me in the shot at the same time. And then I made a couple of video clips of the adult and the juvenile and the juvenile was sleepy. And then I went over to the retaining pond and there were killdeer over there, but the shot wasn't set up like the fantastic shot that Forrest had showed me where there was a, the background was way in the distance and there, the bird was in nothing but water. So I'm gonna walk down the trail uh, where you typically go here at Stanford Gap Wetlands and see what's going on down there. I just found and photographed an orchard oriole male Kind of small on the frame, uh, but of course the R7's got good croppability. Let's see if the photos turned out any good. This is a first of season orchard oriole male for me. Uh, we've gotten these a couple of times over the years, but this is definitely the first one this year. Of course, it's kind of at a distance and small in the frame. I've gotten spoiled from photographing birds in my blind back home, but out in the real world, they don't get quite as close as in the blind. Well, I just got a shot of the uncommon common yellow throat it's really hard to get it in the frame and oh man it's tiny so hopefully it's worth looking at and if so we'll look at that now the common yellow throat is smaller than the orchard oriole and it was much further away it's amazing how much detail there is in these shots because i had to crop them quite a bit but as you can see there's still a good bit of detail in these uncommon common yellow throat photographs that i made there at standard for gap area I did manage to get a couple more photographs of the juvenile killdeer. Super cute little thing. I think this is probably my favorite photograph of the day. It's a juvenile killdeer and it's on the mud hill, dirt hill that is surrounding the retaining pond where they're doing some construction nearby. Just love the way this shot turned out. It almost looks like it's a killdeer on the surface of Mars. Hello, this is Phil from the future and I've already finished the video, but as I was loading my stuff up in the car, I noticed in this bird box on this pole, there was a mating pair of great crested flycatchers. Now the light is terrible. Uh, the pictures I got are terrible. And by the time this video comes out, which will be probably three or four weeks from right now, they'll be long gone. But it was really cool to see some great crested flycatchers nesting and feeding their young in this box behind me on this pole. I didn't stay and shoot very long because the light was so bad, but I did get this one shot of one of the great crested flycatchers there on the bird box. It's got a worm in its mouth to feed its young. And then it flew over and landed on this little flag that's there to mark a petroleum pipeline in this construction area nearby. And I got a photograph or two of the great crested flycatcher there with what I think is a spider in its mouth that it was gonna feed its young. Really cool. I've never seen nesting great crested flycatchers before. I'm going to call it a day. The sun is just extra bright, although I did just catch a cloud long enough to make this video clip. But the sun is high in the sky. I really started too late at this location this morning. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I shot the entire day with the R7 and the 100 to 500, which is my favorite combination for birding. And if you want to see some more stuff like this, take a moment and reach down and subscribe. And Hit the notification bell that would help me out quite a bit and as always i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye bye from standard for gap marsh